For decades, the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium has been a unique hub for engaging the community and for cultivating the wildlife that's found in and around the Port of Los Angeles. If you haven't visited the aquarium in a while, you might notice that things look a little different around here. For the last year and a half, staff has been working on changes, big and small, from the inside out. Visitors, staff and volunteers, and of course, the marine life, have all been benefiting from the changes happening here at the aquarium. I came to the Cabrera Marine Aquarium and started working here in February of 2020, just five weeks before the pandemic. One of my biggest goals was to really connect with the staff and learn from them. And what I wanted to do through our exhibits and through the creation of, of new uh, features in our facility was to draw out the creativity from our staff and from our volunteers. A lot of the projects that we've worked on uh, during the course of the year are pretty apparent once you come into the aquarium. Our welcome booth has been reshaped. There's a lot of great new entry signage, which helps our visitors to find the path in and then explore the aquarium in a really fun way. And we developed a graphic program for our fencing, our fence lines and some of our entryways around the aquarium are now covered with these incredible panels depicting life in Southern California and some of the fish that are found in California and some invertebrates too. We've added some really fun facility improvements too. We have a new door in our courtyard, which is very beautiful. It's easy to open. It allows our staff and our visitors to walk through and have access through the exhibit hall in a, in a really more functional way. When people come to the aquarium, they get to not just see the life that lives here, but they also get to engage with it with our, with our new Tide Pool Habitat exhibit, which is a touching tank. Friends is really excited to be a part of the future of the aquarium. We're gonna be doing a major renovation of the Suzanne Lawrence Miller exhibit hall. It will be completely renovated and changed over. And also we're getting a new life support system. That's the electrical and plumbing system that keeps our animals healthy and alive. So we will be working with the community to ensure that they know what we're gonna be doing and that they have a say in how it goes and also showing them as we move along the plans and ideas that we're working on. COVID has not been an easy time for anybody, but we really took the opportunity to, to change, to transform, to draw energy and creativity out of our staff. And I think you can really see those results when you walk through the aquarium today. And without the Port of Los Angeles, the Department of Recreation and Parks, and our friends of Cabrillo Marine Aquarium, none of that would be possible. I think what makes uh, the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium really special is that when visitors come here and connect with nature, they're connecting with the life that lives right out here in front of us in the port, inside and outside Cabrillo Beach and the areas around Palos Verdes. Because we want them to experience the beauty that is here. And that's really the heart of why we're, we're here as an aquarium is to bring people to nature and connect them to the incredible features that are all around us here in Cabrillo Beach. For more information on visiting the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium, check out cabrillomarineaquarium.org. And for more info on places to visit here in the harbor, Follow LA Waterfront on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.